Hey, 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 kiddos. Welcome back to the Greenhouse Music Podcast here with Miss Delena, where little seeds of creativity grow into a lifetime of music. Whether you're a parent, teacher, or curious kid, we're here to explore fun and engaging ways to bring music into your everyday life. And guess what? We have even more music curriculum, learning videos, and lessons waiting for you on our website, greenhousemusicak.com, and our YouTube channel, Greenhouse Music AK. We're growing the passion for music on all sides. So let's have some fun and get started. Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great morning or a day, depending on when you're listening to this episode. Today in Alaska, where I have my studio, it is a cold 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero Celsius. We are covered in snow over here and it's been a bit of a wonderland. If you can believe it, this is our 13th episode, which is a little insane and exciting at the same time. I've been very grateful. So go back and check out some of our earlier episodes if you have not listened to them yet. And if you want to, our RSS feed is available on uh, Greenhouse Music dot buzzsprout.com and you can get that so that you can download it onto the Yoda. Um, all right. So for this episode, I wanted to play some games with you all. First, we're going to learn about some different instruments and their sounds. I'll play an instrument sound and you can try to guess what the instrument is. First thing that you should know, there are five ish different families of instruments. There's the string families like guitars and violins, woodwind, such as clarinet, percussion, like the drums or shakers, brass with the trumpet and trombone, and then keyboards like piano. Now, there are some overlaps with certain instruments and deeper classification that can be made, but for the sake of today's exercise, this is the system that we will be using. So again, string, woodwind, percussion, brass, and keyboards. And as you're playing this game, it might be easier to ask yourself, okay, what family does this sound like it might go into? And then use that to help you figure out what instrument you think it is. That makes sense? Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started and learn about some instruments today. Here we go. All right, here's our first instrument. Try to see first if you can figure out maybe what family it's a part of and then think about what the instrument sounds like. Did you recognize that song? <laughs> Do you have an idea of maybe what family this instrument is part of? Hmm, maybe we need another time to listen to it. Here's another sample. Now you might hear some other instruments in this one, but pay attention to the one that stands above the rest. Try to figure out if you can think of the name. All right, now that one actually makes me want to get up and dance. I love it. It has this little jazz feeling because this instrument is used in jazz. What do you think it might be? Do you think it's a guitar? Mm, no. Do you think it's a trombone? Mm, no. Do you think it's a big, big drum? Mm, no. You want to know what it is? A clarinet. That is a clarinet, and it is so cool to listen to clarinets because they have a lot of range of the kind of music that they get to be used in. You can see them in an orchestra or in jazz music like the song you just listened to. <laughs> Let's get to our next instrument. Now this one is pretty distinguishable. A lot of people hear this and they kind of instantly know what kind of instrument it is. Do you have any idea what family it might be? Hmm. Here's a hint. This family typically has a brass coloring. Does that help you? Let's get another sample in so you can listen to it again. Have you figured it out yet? Okay, let's narrow it down. What family do you think it might be in? Do you think it's a string instrument family? or percussion, like the drums or shakers? Or do you think it's brass, like trumpets, trombones, and tubas? If you guessed brass, you are correct. I'll give you a multiple choice option. Do you think it's the tuba, the trombone, 
the baritone or trumpet, tuba, trombone, baritone, or trumpet. If you guess trumpet, you are correct. That was a trumpet concerto written by Vivaldi. It's a really, really famous piece. And I'm glad I got to share it with you today. Let's get started on our next instrument. Here we go. Listen closely. All right, the first question, what family do you think this is a part of? Do you think it's the keyboard family? The woodwind family? The string family? The percussion? Hmm, listen a little bit closer and let's see if we can figure it out together. If you think it sounds like the string family, you're correct. Now let's narrow down the instrument. I'm gonna give you some options and you can choose which one. Do you think it is a cello, a violin, a harp, or a guitar? Cello, violin, harp, or guitar? Which one did it sound the most like? If you guess violin, you are correct. That was a violin concerto written by Beethoven himself. Remember learning about Beethoven in one of our very earliest episodes? If you didn't get a chance to listen to that, go back and find it. I think it's number two. All right, I got another instrument lined up for you. Let's take a listen. Hopefully this one is a bit easier than some of the other ones. Which family do you think it's a part of? The string family? The brass family? The percussion family? If you guessed percussion, you are correct. Now, what instrument is it in the percussion family that we're hearing? Do you need another listen? Well, here you go. Now we know that's a percussion instrument, but is it a shaker? Is it a tambourine? Is it a big drum, do you think? If you guessed drum set, you were correct. That was a drum. And drums come in many different sizes, and it, the smaller they are, typically the higher the pitch of the drum. That to me sounded like a lower pitch drum, so it's probably bigger and wouldn't fit in a small lap. We have one more for you to check out and listen to. Tell me what you think it might be. Ooh, have you ever heard that instrument before? It has some really big sounds in it. I wonder what the size of it is. Do you think it's really big or do you think it's really small? Hmm, what family might it be in? Let's take another listen. See if we can find out this mystery together. All right, how cool does that sound? That is actually a really famous piece by Bach. In fact, the other song that you heard with this instrument is also by Bach. He wrote a lot of music for this particular instrument. Do you have any idea what it might be? It is the organ. The organ is a super, super big instrument that produces sound by blowing air through pipes. It is considered to be in the keyboard family. Now there are actually some really cool things about the pipe organ. One, when it was first used, the hydraulis was used throughout the Greek and Roman eras, but its design slowly evolved with the introduction of bellows as a more reliable source, leading to the spread of organs throughout the Byzantine Empire. Whoa. By the 8th century, organs began appearing in European churches, and by the 10th century, their association with religious ceremonies was established. Johann Sebastian Bach was one of the most influential composers for the instrument of the organ, who wrote a lot of music in the height of the Baroque era. The Baroque era of music was during the 1600s, and it sounds very dramatic and elaborate. A couple other quick fun facts about the organ. It is very complex, and before the Industrial Revolution, the organ was considered one of the most complex machines ever invented. Yes, that is awesome. 
It is also known as the king of instruments, which is why I wanted to make it our last instrument today. Due to its wide range in sounds and ability to play complex melodies, the organ is often called the king of the instruments. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. One of my last little fun facts is that when movies were first created and they were silent, the actors didn't speak, they just pretended. Organs were often put into the theaters and cinemas to provide musical accompaniment, sometimes even featuring sound effects like a train whistle or bird calls. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed that little game today. And if you did, please leave a comment and let me know. I want to include more variety in what we talk about in the Greenhouse Music Podcast. Thanks for listening, kids. I hope you had fun with me. <laughs> I know I was having fun. It's really cool to learn about so many different instruments and the families that they belong into. Well, this is Miss Delena signing off for today, but keep that music alive, kids, and I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for tuning in. We hope you're feeling inspired to keep the music growing at your home. And parents, if you're enjoying the show, we'd love if you could leave a review. It helps us reach more families and keep the fun going. Don't forget to check out more lessons and resources at GreenhouseMusicAK.com and on our YouTube channel, Greenhouse Music AK. Until next time, keep making music and having fun together.